Welcome to perform later again in the show. It's happening, people. You're very, very lucky. But back to business. It's Friday night. I can confirm we are only 24 hours, 38 minutes and 54 seconds away from the next live Strictly extravaganza. So, with time very much of the essence, we sent the delectable Geffen to Strictly HQ to gather up all the behind-the-scenes intel for you. Hello and welcome to the heart of the action right here in the Strictly Ballroom where rehearsals are underway for tomorrow night's show. Now, no one needs reminding that Blackpool is just eight days away and believe you me, the class of 2017 are really pulling out the stops. Rehearsing at the moment are Susan and Kevin. They're doing a tango to Katy Perry's firework. So launch yourself over there and have a look. Yeah, how about that? Explosive stuff. I love watching those two dance. But now I'm off backstage to see who I can have a chat with and, of course, get myself on the guest list for Blackpool. See you in a bit. Ah! We better be in Blackpool. What a man, what a beard. What a first for backstage knowledge. And there will be plenty more from Mr Jones later in the show, Goody. But right now, it's time to meet our first guests of the evening. As superstar DJs, these two brought a party to the Strictly Dance Floor and dropped a downright spicy salsa while they were at it. It's Johnny and Oti. <laughs> I thought the lifts were spectacular. You have no fear, and it's a fabulous attitude, so keep that up. You're finding rhythms that suit Johnny Peacock. people. I, I feel like I haven't seen you for ages, yeah. the two of you. Yeah, Hot yeah. salsa surrey. Did you likey likey? Yeah, it was good fun. It was better than the cha-cha. We'll okay. give it that. Yeah. yeah. No, it was, it was good fun. Uh, I was trying to keep myself covered, though. Yeah. As, as best I could. Do it as well, I don't know. <laughs> it, I don't know if that's what the people want, Johnny. Wow. I think they're all very excited, especially some of the ladies in the audience. Like, we've seen you play Pirate Johnny, Indiana Johnny, we can't forget Supermarket Sweep, Johnny. Um, how is it to play party animal DJ extraordinaire Johnny? DJ Johnny. Uh, it's good fun. Um, yeah, I just tried to just tried to enjoy it. I got to, we, I think we really had fun in that dance. Yeah, yeah, we really yeah. enjoyed it. We were just screaming, yeah, having a good exactly. time. I know, I could hear you from home. Yeah, I know. <laughs> um, and brilliantly, <laughs> scores up 27. The judges, they loved your arms, they loved your strength, they loved the lifts. OT, were you happy, OT? I was so happy that I was. I, you were I don't happy. know. Yeah, I was happy. <laughs> he got through it. I was happy. So um, because he just gave it his all, and he's so shy. He's so shy. And for him to just be like, you know what? I'm just gonna go out there have fun because that's all I can do. That was amazing for Did me. Did you surprise yourself actually at how woo you were? Yeah, I think so. I think well, <laughs> this is one of the first uh, dances where I really knew the choreography going into it. Yeah. Um, I think because normally backstage I'm Thinking. panicked about. Right what steps coming where but this one I just it just happened and I just really just tried to throw myself in and it's a salsa you've got to have fun you've got to have fun we all had so much fun watching you as well and Darcy um was very impressed I quote Darcy Bustle she said she was impressed at how you handle OT throwing herself <laughs> at you um <laughs> would you like us to have a quiet word <laughs> <laughs> I have to handle her in training so yeah <laughs> Oh. No, it was, they were, the lifts were good fun, I yeah. think, as well. Yeah, they, they were really good fun. And uh, I think that the salsa is all about the, the woman, isn't it? That's what the salsa is. The salsa is all about the woman you showing off. You said it. Man I did it. Taught him well. It, so. I did. Johnny, you are the best student. Uh, Shirley, we saw there, she said, you are finding rhythms for Johnny Peacock. Oti, as you get to know each other, for, you know, it must be so much. You can sort of choreograph to suit him and stuff like that. Yeah, I think we, we slowly but surely are finding our feet and, and knowing what works for us, how we can have fun in the training room, not where I'm going crazy and he's just looking at me like I'm crazy. So now <laughs> Which sometimes just, happens. Yeah. Yeah. Is that, is that all, all, the all the time, time yeah. All the time, all the time. He's like, what's wrong with you? I'm angry. But um, we, we have, we're having fun. Like, this week was really, really nice. I was relaxed. 
Yeah. I think we've had the chilled? most chilled Ooh. week. Yeah, yeah, actually, yeah, I would dance and then I'd carry on. I wouldn't say anything. I'd just look at him. This, you've got her. This is amazing. Right. Um, <laughs> have you taken Bruno up on his offer to help you with your hip rotations? Uh, well, that just has to... He told me not to say anything. OK. So, yeah. <laughs> um, up in the Claudatorium, you were saying to Claude that you were worried that you were going to go into the dance-off. Why were you worried this time? I don't know, yeah. Just backstage, it just felt like... I don't know, it just, it just felt like it. And I think because, obviously, for me, my goal was Halloween and every yeah. week's a bonus now. And we're getting to that point in the show where there are some seriously good people left. And you just feel like every week is. So I think that it's, it's just got to that part of the shows where I think every time it's just going to feel like you're going to go. OK, I know. It's too much for all of us too to bear, even us watching. Uh, the great thing with you two is we are obviously always trying to gain a new insight into our couple's working dynamics. I now, knew it. I knew uh, it. I knew it. I knew it. I'm just coming. happy you turned up after the last VT we did. Uh, we learned that the pair of you two have very different ways of warming up. <laughs> <laughs> So one from Shirley. It's my life. My heart is like an open highway. Let me so three it from me. Get in my way. La la. Da, 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 da. It's my life. Johnny having a really professional <laughs> stretch there. OT with uh, brilliant Bon Jovi. Oh, boy. So, so good. Have you thought about, you know, talking to Dave and uh, Tommy about getting the band, you know, perhaps? I love Bon Jovi. You can play Bon Jovi all day. I'm going to act like that. I, I absolutely... I'm always trying to get a Bon Jovi song on the show. Okay. And I know. Uh, it'll happen, people, I'm sure. Uh, so, this week, it's the Foxtrot. Are you excited to be back in hold, Johnny? I'm excited. I'm as excited as Oti was just then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I am. Yeah. I think obviously a couple of Latin numbers, so it's really nice yeah. to get back into hold. I just feel feel a bit more at home there. And oh, and look at you! Look, we can hear the music as well. You are dancing to Adele. It's a classic. <gasps> it's good, isn't it? Oh, it's oh, it's a motive. It's a yeah, Oti, could song. you sing a little bit for us? <laughs> I, think, I think makeup and hair are sick of me singing. I know. Now. She's had Adele on <laughs> all afternoon in the in the makeup room. At least it wasn't Bon Jovi. Um, so, it's that song haunting you? Are you hearing it everywhere you go? Are you um, sleep? I'm not hearing it. I'm hearing it a lot in the training room, but that's always a good sign. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, but it's a massive song. It's an amazing song. Um, so, I just hope that I can do it justice, really. And it builds and builds, yeah. doesn't yeah. it? Which can only be good. Will really we emotional. be seeing Dinosaur Bum? No. I no. Hope not. Good. That no. Is the right answer. Because old OT will come back. Oh, yeah. And we don't need that. Blackpool. <laughs> is that a demo time? <laughs> <laughs> Blackpool, next week. How much do you want to be on that bus up north? It would be amazing. It would be amazing. I'm just trying to... I'm just enjoying every Saturday at the moment. Obviously, my goal was Halloween, and every, every single week that we're doing after that has just been a bonus. But oh. obviously, Blackpool would be amazing. We'll Johnny, see. OT, you two are gorgeous. Give it up for Johnny and OT. <laughs> the scenes look at this weekend's group number and to commemorate Remembrance Day is Strictly Pros are promising a routine we'll never forget. This week's group dance is an emotional and moving story in tribute to Remembrance Day. Be blue. My character is um, a wife waiting for her husband to come back from the war as I'm picking up his jacket and trying to remember and smell him, I go back and I am dancing with him in my imagination. And and though I'm far away. One of my favourite moments in this dance is when we start dancing with our men and suddenly they disappear and all we have left is the flowers and that represents all those who have fallen at war. Neil and I are playing the roles of two soldiers and uh, we're actually on the travelators at the back. Remembrance Day means so much to me. My father was serving, I was born in the barracks. So I think everyone throughout their life, they've, they've lost somebody or they know somebody in the service. So I think it, it's, it's a touching time for everyone. 
this is a more contemporary style of ballroom dancing and it can really get emotional. And obviously because this is such a sensitive and beautiful routine, we can really go there with our feelings. We're all so proud to be a part of this dance for Remembrance Day and we hope you enjoy the routine on the weekend. It's time now to welcome this week's esteemed Friday panel. They needed to have star power, comedy chops and an encyclopedic knowledge of all things Strictly. And this week, they just so happen to ooze sex appeal to <laughs> Please Go Wild for Jeremy Vine, Anna Richardson and Nick Knowles. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Anna, welcome to the show. How are you, my darling? What are you making of the class of uh, 2017? I've got to tell you, Zoe, but yes. class of 2017, very strong. Yes. But I think that every year, the standard's getting better and better. And we're only halfway through, and already I'm utterly gobsmacked by the level, actually. I know. 2015 was quite a good year. It was yeah. a very strong year. <laughs> it's the return of Jeremy Vines. <laughs> <laughs> it was a very strong year, Jeremy. We are so excited to see you reunited with Karen Clifton, and your old friends, Latin yeah. and Ballroom, for the Christmas special! Yeah. Yes. I'm so, I'm so sharp. I've been in touch with Karen. I yeah. won't say which dance it is. Oh, yes. Don't but I'm just looking forward to getting back in the gym. And she's a, she's a, a firm teacher. I she mean, is firm. She's, she she's <laughs> usually starts by saying, I want coffee. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Actually, we're in touch person. and we're friends, and yeah. it's lovely. Seriously, two or three times a week we text. So we're oh. looking forward to seeing that. Nick Nelson, we've had your album on this afternoon in the dressing room. Marvellous Back. stuff! Right. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, uh, have you ever thought about DIY doing it yourself, Strictly Come Dancing? Well, weirdly, when I was growing up, my, there was always dancing in my house. My, yeah. I've got three sisters. The eldest was a ballroom dancer. The middle one actually has a massive ballet school over in Stowaway. And my mm -hmm. youngest sister was a dancer. My brother's a musician, writes musicals. I was the least talented person in, in the family. No, no, no. So what are you saying? Is that a yes or a no? Uh, it's, a, uh, it's, it's a maybe. Ooh! How exciting. I yeah, love yeah. your jumper, by the way, as Thank well. You very much. It's very warm in here. Yeah. Um, OK, let's look at our couples and their dances this weekend. We're going to start with David and Nadia, who are doing a Charleston. Uh, Jeremy, have a little look. You, uh, they're doing the Charleston to the Lambeth Walk. This was your highest scoring mm. dance, yeah, so you therefore... Yeah. <laughs> 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 it was better than that. Uh, have a little look. Tell me what you think, Jeremy, at this stage. Is this, yeah, yeah. This well, I mean, I'm looking at his feet because I think that flapping pivot on the foot, the, the ball of the foot thing, is hard now. So that I know that if he's doing that, he's been practicing. Yes. I didn't see that much of it then, but that's probably the wrong bit of the dance. The, the swivel. One, is that what well, you're is it, I don't know what yeah. it's called. I mean, I never found out. Well, so, <laughs> <laughs> no, will be told. furious. Yeah, she yeah. will be furious. Actually, she goes, sorry, Karen. But uh, no, this thing you do with your feet. Like yes. that take is, is the hardest thing for a non-dancer to do okay. and I and, and I was practicing it everywhere the bedroom the lift the fl floor got complaints at Radio 2 for walking <laughs> everywhere like that <laughs> but so uh, I think yeah. that does that does that'll test them okay I mean, more of the fact that you know this stuff That's I, I, know, know. I, know, well, I know but he you, is an expert now no no the <laughs> thing is I got obsessed with the Charleston because <laughs> when I when we all met for the first time in August they did a little bit of Charleston, yeah. and I thought that's going to be the hardest thing. So I kept practicing it everywhere. I know, and then you got to do it, which but is a joy. The time I did it, I, I, it, it worked. It's, for two seconds, it worked. Okay. Literally, I just uh, started looking. Do it, Jen. Let's no, move on to. Bit, but I won't we'll make him do it in a minute. We'll have a demo time. Only under uh, let's get on to Susan and Kevin and their tango. Uh, Nick, last week uh, they leapt up the leaderboard with their jive. What do you make of this tango? Well, do you know, what? I, I think it, it, it's looking great. I think she's looking great. I think she's one of the great stories of the year. People are loving her. Certainly your daughter Anna is in agreement with me that yeah, she's, she's, here, yeah. she's got a real proper chance because um, I don't know, I think everybody's loving how she's thrown herself mm. into it. Yes. And it's really difficult when, you're, uh, when your life is in comedy to throw yourself seriously into something without feeling uncomfortable and I think she's yeah. doing an amazing she's job. Doing she looks great there. Great. Oh, yeah. here, here from the audience. Johnny and Oti, we're just talking to them there. They're doing a foxtrot. Mm. Are you looking forward to Johnny's return to the ballroom? Never mind. There we go. I am. 
Yes. I am. And I'll tell you for why, because they've not done ballroom for a couple of weeks. No, it's all been there. Latin. Yeah. We've seen a lot of Latin and he's been praised on his Latin. Yeah. So I think we're going to see a darker side to the peacock. Oh. <laughs> that sounds like a really naughty novel or something. And, she, <laughs> and, and she's just lovely, isn't she? She's infectiously yeah. bonkers. Amazing. She is <laughs> brilliant. Yeah. Yes. Bonkers. And that she, she has the tiniest waist, the longest legs, and she does brilliant choreography. Mm. Let's talk about Debbie and Giovanni now, who are doing a salsa. Jeremy, um, they share the first perfect 40 of the series. Where on your swingometer is this salsa placed this at the a, moment? Now, this is a crucial moment because this, for me, I'm thinking Debbie's going to win at this stage. And I'm, a, I'm a pundit who does politics and I've been wrong on everything for the last five years. So, <laughs> I, before Debbie, I thought it was going to be Aston. But that looks good. I mean, to me, uh, yeah, but the Aston. I know, Aston is too soon, isn't it? People can't even no, see it. Too soon. Yes. But I, I thought Ashton, Alexandra, Debbie in the final, and yeah. now I, my predictions are all busted. But I think yeah. that looks good, and I can't forget the Craig Bow. When he gets out from behind yes. the desk, that was amazing. I know. I've never yes. seen anything like that. Something like that. Flexi McGee, Anna, what do you think? Are you excited to see her? She's going to be playing an optician, uh, in case you need that as information. You, as you would. Yes. That makes sense. <laughs> do you know, the thing about Debbie is she's always been and Debbie McGee, hasn't she? So it's yes. Paul Daniels and Debbie McGee. And now, for the first time, I think we're seeing Debbie McGee in her own right. Yes. She is Love just magnificent. Yeah. Brilliant. OK. Yeah. Joe and Katya now are doing a rumba, Nick Knowles. Do you know much about the rumba? Well, the rumba, yes, that's, this, this is the one that's slightly dangerous, isn't it, really? It is. It's a little <laughs> exposing. You can easily, exactly. But you can easily put something out uh, whilst doing this. <laughs> um, but, but the other thing is, is, it is interestingly dangerous as well, though, because it is a very um, simulating sexual kind of dance. And you can actually irritate the audience. If you, it's a real fine line to be sexy enough, yeah. but not so much that you go, oh, no, no, I want to be watching yeah, this whilst yes. I'm eating me OK. So, it's, uh, like, it's like you. It's like you on DIY. And it's a good point. I think a lot of people get knocked out on the rumba. All right. yeah. Yeah, oh, let's hope that doesn't happen for Joe. No, no rumba. These wonderful guys will return later in the show, but for now, give it up for our glorious Friday panel.